The role of dynamic rendering in search engine optimization is an often overlooked factor that can have a significant impact on the search engine visibility for your websites. This video will discuss what dynamic rendering is, how it impacts your website's organic search visibility on Google, and some tips to make sure you're using it correctly. What is dynamic rendering? Dynamic rendering is a technique that involves dynamically generating the HTML and CSS code based on user interactions with the website, rather than pre-rendering everything beforehand. The benefits of dynamic rendering include faster page load times and increased scalability. Who is dynamic rendering for? Dynamic rendering is great for websites that are large and have crawlability issues. This type of rendering is much less resource intensive and cheaper to run than rendering server-side. Here are a few questions you should ask yourself if you're considering if dynamic rendering is right for you. Do you have a large website with many pages that need to be crawled? Is the server load on the page too heavy? Or are there other technical issues related to rendering dynamically? Does your content frequently change, like e-commerce site inventory? Do you have limited budget for implementation of server-side rendering, or is your engineering team limited in bandwidth? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then it may benefit from dynamic rendering. Dynamic rendering is also great for those who want their websites ready as quickly as possible because they can get up and running in no time at all. What does dynamic rendering require? Dynamic rendering is a feature that allows your web server to detect crawlers, so requests from crawlers are routed to a renderer. For example, with Googlebot's user agent as an identifier, requests from the spider will be fed to the dynamic rendering engine and all other requests will be propagated over HTTP. Why does Google recommend dynamic rendering? Google recommends dynamic rendering because it improves the experience for both crawlers and search engine users. This is especially useful when you have a limited engineering bandwidth or are looking to create your website as quickly as possible. Normally, search engines have difficulty rendering and indexing JavaScript content. They rely on static HTML content, so when it encounters JavaScript-heavy pages, it may push off rendering in batches or elements, causing key parts of the page to be missing or rendered incorrectly. It's important that web developers know about dynamic rendering so they can make the best decision based on their needs and constraints. The main benefit of using this feature comes in the form of improved SEO visibility, especially with Googlebot spiders. Dynamic sites allow only those specific spiders requests to be served, so they're provided a fully rendered version of your web page to crawl and properly index without eating up a lot of resources in the crawl budget. What is rendering in SEO? Rendering is a process where Google takes your web pages, runs the page code, and assesses your content to rank its quality. This information is used when people search on Google to determine which sites are the most relevant for their query. How does Google crawl dynamic content? When Google crawls your website, it drills down into the content of each page to get a comprehensive understanding. Dynamic rendering helps you deliver an important part of that dynamic experience without sacrificing SEO and with barely any extra development work. Is JavaScript bad for SEO? JavaScript complicates the search engine's ability to read your page, potentially straying them from finding quality content. When a search engine downloads a web document and starts analyzing it, the first thing they do is determine what type it is. Then they use their structured data and knowledge about the document's content to figure out how it should be indexed. When you have a lot of JavaScript on your page, search engines will often assume that the whole website is dynamic or client-side rendered. In these cases, they may not index any of your web pages because they don't know what type of website this is supposed to be or if there are even any more web pages at all. It's important that your JavaScript is optimized and rendered effectively to provide the most clarity to search engine crawlers. How does dynamic rendering help with indexing JavaScript? In order for search engines to be able to see content loaded by JavaScript in the browser, they have to render it. They do this because rendering pages at scale requires a lot of time and computational power, so the bots defer rendering until they are free of these tasks. The rendered data is not always consistent with what you see in your personal view on your screen, but there's a reason for that, something we refer to as render budget. Render budget is similar to crawl budget in that details of your page might be missed by search engines, like if you have frequently changing inventory on your site or you are publishing a bunch of articles daily. Dynamic rendering versus server-side rendering. You may be wondering what the difference is between dynamic rendering versus server-side rendering. Dynamic rendering is a largely client-side technology that relies on the browser to do all of the computation. Server-side rendering is one where your web pages are rendered by servers before being delivered to users in their browsers. For these reasons and more, most SEO experts recommend server-side rendering, but the main downside is the cost. It can be incredibly expensive to implement server-side rendering on a website, as well as time-intensive to ensure it's running properly. Because of this, dynamic rendering is the most realistic option that gives you the most bang for your buck.